Well, welcome back, my psychology friends, and welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial, we're going to go over how can you make a quiz in Google Forms. And the assignment, as hopefully you are well aware by now, your assignment is you guys are going to make a quiz or a, you're going to make a study guide for a part of the reading. Um, and then each one of you will make your own study guide. And then what we'll do is when they're all done, you'll take each other's. You'll take at least a couple. And my hope is that in the process of making the study guide, you really will go a lot deeper into the reading, the section that you pick, and you'll become much uh, more um, familiar with it, let's say. I know it really works well for me. When I make these study guides, I learn it a lot better. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you have to do is log into your Google Drive. So I'm already logged in, open up my drive. And now I'm going to start a form. So you click on new, give it a moment. It's not these first three. It's like, well, I guess it's the fourth most popular thing that we do. So it's under more. And then it's over here, Google form. So that's the one you want to pick. Start a Google form. And when it first pops up, the default color is always purple, but we can change that pro that color later. Well, I'll show you. First thing is, let's though we want to give it a name. See, right now it's not. There's no. There's no. This is the file name, and then this is the name that people see when they take it. So let's give it a name. I'm gonna put my last name on it so people know I made it. Richter Study Guide, and whatever topic you picked. Um, now I'm gonna pick the drugs topic, and just in case you forgot or you skipped that part, the topics are coming from the the reading let me just skip right to it Oop, we're doing what chapter three right this was what you wanted to pick from either you're going to do cognitive neuroscience and dual processing the brain and consciousness that beginning part that's just a few pages this hypnosis that's a few more pages and then near-death experiences that's a little bit at the end so all those three little subtopics that's one thing you can make your study guide on you know you can do like four questions or so from each section four or five questions um, or drugs and consciousness that's a lot longer they're basically about evened out or you pick that so you're going to pick one of those two to do your quiz on i'm going to do my example on drugs and consciousness so i'm going to call mine drugs all right and conscious whatever and it's just this is just my example so cool started the quiz first thing we want to do is ask the person what is their name so i don't want to forget that and as soon as you type in name please uh, Google Forms realizes you're trying to, uh, you need a short answer response. So you can change what type of response. You could give them a paragraph, but they don't need a paragraph to write their name. Multiple choice doesn't make any sense. So these are the different options you have for types of questions. For this quiz, just stick to multiple choice, maybe a few checkboxes. Checkboxes let you pick like three or four answers, okay? So you're going to ask them their name, and then I usually ask you your hour, but you really don't need to do that. Um, if you want to, you can. Now, what's your, I'm also going to make it required. Cool. Now, let's go ahead and start the quiz. So, this is how you add a question. Depending on how wide your screen is, this little uh, this little navigation thing here where I can add questions, I can import questions, I can add an image. This may be down here below. So, don't it may not be on the right. Mine screen's a little wider, so it's on the right. So, I add a new question. Now, what I want to do next with you is I want to make this a quiz. Right now, it's just, a, it's just a survey, so there's no right or wrong. It's just asking people, like, you know, pick A or B. But to actually make it a quiz, we have to go up here into the settings. So come up into your settings and see you got here general, presentation, quiz. That's what we have to quiz. And you got to click this on, make this a quiz. Boom. And then you get a couple options to pick. I always leave it at the default for the study guides. The default means the, as soon as the person hits submit, it's going to give them their grade right away, and it's going to tell you, you know, which questions you got wrong, um, which what the right answers are, and how much they're worth. So that's good for this one. So now I'm going to save that. Now it's a quiz. So now what happens is this thing pops up, answer key. Now I can start put answer keys in. So let's come up with the first question. So what I did is hopefully you already read through your um, part. I'm going to skip down to the drugs part. Where is that? That's the sleeping part. I'm going to pause it while I look for it. Okay, here's the drugs part where it begins. So it starts with there's um, psychoactive drugs or chemicals. Right, I'm going to look right away. Key terms, the ones that are bold. In my section, right at the top, 
looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. There's six key terms. So each key term definitely should be a question on your study guide, right? Because the key terms are always going to, you know, that's the important part. And then you're going to come up with a few more questions just as you read it. And you're going to, it's just going to be, you know, be creative a little bit. Try not to be too hard. Try not to be too easy. You want to try to find a nice balance with your questions because you're really trying to help the person understand the reading better and kind of helping them memorize it. So psychoactive drug, drug. Um, I'm going to read the definition here. A chemical substance that alters perceptions and moods. I'm also going to, you know, read up here because it may be give me a little more information. Chemicals that change perceptions and moods through their actions at the neural synapses. So give me a little more information when I actually read about it. Um, so that's kind of neat. So the psychoactive drug is it's working at the neural synapses and it's changing my perceptions, like how I see and how I hear things, and it's also affecting my mood. So I'm trying to come up with a question off of that. I'm going to think about that and pause it, and then I'm going to go back to here and write a question. So you do that with your first one. Okay, like here's the question I came up with. It's not great, but where in the body do psychoactive drugs work? And the, the right answer, of course, is at our neural synapses from the reading. And what I did is I did a few more that are kind of right. Right, because could that those neural synapses could be in the stomach? They could be in the lungs. Let's say you smoke some type of psychoactive drug, so it may be affecting you right away in the lungs. It could be in the skin. Sometimes you can get a drug on your skin, or if you snorted something, it could be in your nose, in your nose, nasal membranes. But as you know, that's that old like, what's the most? What's the best answer? And since it's only allowing you one, then we hope everyone would pick at the neural synapses. It's the most like most correct. So how do I actually make that be the right answer? You have to roll down right here. You have to click on answer key. Once you click on that, you get to pick which one is right. So in this case, I can only pick one. See so if I try to pick, whoa, wait a minute. It will let me pick more than one. <laughs> but if you did that, the person wouldn't know. That's the thing, yeah. When, when you see multiple choice, you may put two answers, but they won't know to pick two. So if you want to do multiple answers, you're going to have to change the style of problem, the checkbox. So I'm going to just do this one answer, and I'm going to make it worth one point. I always make them one point. And then if you want to give them feedback, you can. So like if they get it wrong or right, it'll give them like a little message. I don't typically do that. Um, and then say done. So now that question is done. So if I wanted to, you know, right now you can't tell that they got it right. You got to click on the answer key to make sure. I'm sorry, you can't tell that you finished it. So click it, make sure you did it right. It's good. So you can do some of these check boxes if you want to do multiple um, like more than one answer right you can do that so now that question is done and now you just go ahead and you add another question hit that plus and come up with the second one and you're going to just do that 15 times now once you're all done and if you want to get a little fancy and try you could add an image right here add an image you could even add a video make the person watch a video first that'd be kind of cruel but you know a picture first can help depending on what the question is so once you're all done with your 15 questions, um, I'm going to make another video to show you how to link it up. But I'll show you right here now, too, if you want to, because some of you just remember it. So when you're all done, oh, and by the way, if you want to change the look of it, you can go here to your theme and you can choose an image. They got some cool pictures. You could upload your own pictures. Um, maybe make it like bubbles or something. So you can change that, play around, change the colors. Um, but when you, what you want to do, you can preview it too to test it, make sure it works. And then when you're ready to give it to me to turn it in, you're going to click on send and you're going to click on link. And you're going to get this big old link. Don't give me that link, make it shorter. Then you're going to copy that link and then I'm going to make, a, I'm going to make another page with everybody's name on it. And you're going to just paste that into that page by your name. And that way, by the end, when everybody's ready, it'll like we'll have the list of everybody in the class, and then we'll have everybody's quiz they made or study guide, and then you guys will be able to try each other's out. And um, I think just having like you do two other people's would be good as a basic, maybe extra credit if you do a third or a fourth. But it'll give you a chance to just um, practice and and work on you know on testing yourself a little bit. So that's all about it. Hopefully everything is good to go and it's making sense to you. So have fun when you do this. Take your time, do a good job. I think it'll take probably about uh, one class, maybe a class and a half to get it done. Um, but first of all, read. Do the reading first. So make sure you're feeling good about the reading. And if you need any help, just let me know.